Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again on another live stream here at Whole Latte Love. I'm Brian. I'm Missy. And for this one, we're going to unbox, dial in, set up a Eureka Mignon Libra. Libra. And she's just going to get right to it. Let's do it. There you go. But I do want to mention while she's opening that, it is an interactive presentation that we're doing here. And that's why we've got Ellie and Mark back there. Ellie will send your questions if you send them in the chat up to us and then we will answer them. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So, so honestly, like we have, we have this little card here and it is actually an important note. Uh, it, it, it seems kind of silly if you look at it, but don't hold it by the cleat because this is a grind by weight grinder and that could throw off the calibration. So always hold it from the bottom. It's a useful little, little card. That's why they put it on the top. Oh boy. And look at that. So we've got our manual for the Mignon Libra. We've got our hopper with lid, clear mm -hmm. plastic lid. I love it. 300 gram hopper. Right. And we, th these ones do come with the uh, dosing Eureka funnel. dosing funnel, uh, which is very nice. I do like it. It's magnetic. It goes right on top of a 58 millimeter portafilter and it's got the nice Eureka logo etched into the side of it. I love that. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like we've got a Ferrari red one. Do you want me to do it? Yes. All right, let me grab this. Uh, so this is not one of the lighter grinders. I'm going to be honest with you here. It does kind of weigh a, a, a good amount. And it's because nice of its metal duty. construction. It, it, is, it is a serious piece of equipment here. So yeah, oh boy, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my gosh. Boy, that color looks great. And you were saying you hadn't seen a red one in person yet, I right? haven't. I haven't seen a red one in person yet. Yeah, it's a good looking... What would you mm -hmm. do with the scissors? We need those. Yeah, let me just... I, I want to just... So you're going to have... You know, it's going to be wrapped in a, in, a, in a ratchet tie, as I, I call them. I don't know what else other people call them, but that's what I call Zip them. Zip tie? Zip tie. Zip tie, sure. And then I've got some power back here. Let's turn this baby on. Yeah. Won't need those again. And the hopper is going to go, um, if you can see up top here, right. there's a little indent there. You'll put the hopper where this indent is. Lovely. And there's a screw on the back that you can tighten up as well. To really put it in there. So let's yeah. get that nice and level. And there is the, the shutter, mm -hmm. uh, plastic shutter on there. And uh, power switch on the sides here. So let's flip this on and get going. Version 3.1. There it is. And there we go. We are turned on. It looks like we're on manual dosing mode to begin, so that's interesting. Turn that on. Turn oh, that yeah, on. and we've got to set up our port hmm. filter. Holder. So, yeah, so let's calibrate. So, as I said, this is a grind by weight grinder. And before we put any beans in it, before we do anything else, right out of the box, one thing I like to do is always get to burr touch. Because that way I know where the minimum grind size is. Because for an espresso, you want it to be very fine. And so we wanted to get find out the absolute minimum and then back it off just a little bit. You so, want to hand me that uh, dosing funnel? And this is meant to be hooked in there with the dosing funnel. Right. Um, just so you know, too. Right. And so let's... Yes, yeah. I got I got it from you. Thank I got a better angle here. So I'm going to. So we we've got the filter holder message okay. right out of the box. So so I'm gonna get this going and get that in there. It's a little bit of an awkward angle for me, but here we go. Is that working? Okay. So is that? And then I think we want to get it a little more snug. I'm yeah. Just walk around to the front here real quick. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to do from the back for yeah. sure. Okay, so basically you'll lift these up. If this is, you'll want this yeah. to be all the way loose when you're adjusting it. Right. And, and it's just a little, it, little thumb screwed there, there yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, so basically you'll hold it up and then get it real snug in there. Oop. You know, it does happen. It happens to me all the time too. Yeah, okay. But you want go. it to be tight in there. Nice. And then once you get it tight, that's when you tighten back up the thumb And screw. I'm doing this with a hot port of filter, which is probably not the <laughs> greatest idea. That's a good point. Yeah, okay. you don't want to do that. Okay, that should be good. And so that's in there. And so we're going to take it out. And so there we go. Now we, we're set to 14 grams. And so you can see that on there. 
other Eureka grinders, if you see the 14, that means it's going to grind for 14 seconds. Mm -hmm. But on this one, because it's a grind by weight grinder, that means that it's going to dispense 14 grams of coffee. So it's, it's a phenomenal time save that you don't have to weigh your dose anymore. Yeah. So we've got that. But I do want to go into the manual dosing mode again. And then we can we can get that. Oh, you mm -hmm. know what? I guess we still need to have the, the filter holder in there, even mm -hmm. if we don't have anything in there. And so yeah, it's kind of hard to oh. see. There we go. That's a better. Oh, I, I didn't let it zero out. And so you're going to see that FH, and that means filter holder. And that means that it didn't have time to zero out properly. So the best thing to do if you see the FH, first thing, check and make sure you're nice and snug. Second thing, uh, take it out, let it sit for maybe five seconds, and then put it back in. Mm -hmm. And be patient with it. So I'm going to start that up again. Oh gosh! And now I, sc <laughs> I screwed it up again. One, two, three. Do you want to do you want to press and hold, and I'll adjust. Okay. So, and then this will start. So we're spinning. Birds are spinning. We're yeah. going to. I think we're running into the issue because the angle we're right. doing it from. So we're getting it. All right. There's zero. there's touch. I don't know if you can hear that. We're chirping. Yeah. The birds are singing, and so I'm going to back that off from touch about one and a half on on the extra comfort knob is what they call it on this one because it's a little bit larger than your usual yeah. eureka knob and so there you go i think we're ready to put some beans in there uh we've got our crema wave of course okay and so you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and pull pull the shutter and what size burrs does this one have missy it has 55 millimeter burrs. That's right, hardened steel. In a 310 watt motor. Right. Okay. All empty on that one, so this is, you know, we better get it dialed in in this amount of beans. <laughs> yeah. No, we've got plenty more, don't worry <laughs> about it. But, uh, so yeah, we're gonna wanna zero that back out again and go back to normal dosing. Oh. It's gonna tell you that if it's not in. Oh wait, yeah. that's right. To select normal dosing, you would hit just one of the choices. So mm -hmm. we have it set for double. Uh, with this size basket, I think we want about 18 grams of coffee. Yeah. So all you have to do is with the plus, hold it. It'll go a little faster and get it up to 18. And so then it's going to put out 18 grams of coffee into your filter holder or port a filter. Port a filter. Lots of different names for the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm struggling. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. There we go. Okay. Kay. And now you would hit the, the double button. And there you go. And your first couple grinds are going to come out a little slow because the grinder hasn't had beans in it yet. So it's got to get used to grinding. It only has one purpose, and that's to grind beans. And so a lot of times what you'll get is the, those little pulses at the end where yeah. it's getting exactly the right amount. Okay, now let's take a look at these grounds here if we can. Honestly, I what is gonna be I feel okay with that. I think that might, be, that might be all right. Oh, go. boy. Oh, <laughs> other side. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm searching. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And maybe shake it a little bit so that we can take Oh, you know what? Take the dose. I was going to tell you to take the dosing ring off anyway, so there, there you go. go. And I, I don't know, that might be a little fine. Yeah. I think we're still a little fine. Just just by looking at it, I, I'm sorry I was covering that up maybe. But yeah. uh, so you can it, see that we've got some some solid clumps in here. And mm -hmm. so if you if we want to take this out and maybe put it on the countertop here so Mark can see it a little better. Uh, maybe not the best angle. But yeah, I think we might be a little a little fine there. It's 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 kind of caking, and yeah. that's that's the sign that it's going to be a little too fine, and the, the water is going to have too much of a trouble getting through that. So mm -hmm. I think we go ahead and coarsen it already without yeah. even without even trying that one. I agree. Let's that coarsen it up a little bit. That could bit. potentially uh, choke us out there. So yeah. you know, we don't mind a little mess because we're the ones that need to clean it up. So. When you're going coarser, you don't really have to worry as much uh, about your grind size, about grinding, because mm -hmm. you're going, you're moving the burrs further apart. And yeah. so we can go, let's How say. How many lines do you think? I'm going to say, with, with the Eureka, it's not that tough. I would say maybe half. Okay. So we've moved just a little bit more. And then this one, are we, this is going to be our purge? 
Right, and so what? Are we kidding? Even a lot of people will set the single dose uh, or the single shot as their perch. Too. Yeah, and so let's ju let's just like, go ahead and do that. Let's set this to what do you think? Like two grams would be a good. No, no, definitely more than that. Let's do six, since six. you're right there. Six. Okay. And, and while we're uh, messing around with that, uh, do we have any questions, Ellie? Oh, yeah. boy. Um, J-Man wants to know if it's different dialing in a wave and face grinder. So you spoke at the most inopportune time, I'm so Ellie. Sorry about I'm that. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm much closer to this grinder than I am to you over there. And yes. You know, you probably have heard it before, but your voice doesn't carry very well. So would you mind repeating that? Yeah, um, J-Man wanted to know, is it different dialing in a weight-based grinder? You know, it's a lovely question because honestly, uh, it, it takes a little bit of thought to think about it. Not really. Yeah, uh, principles are the same. Right. When dialing in, it's more about adjusting the grind size. And that's not going to matter as much when it comes to you know, how it's dosing it out. Mm -hmm. The dosing is something that we're going to keep as a, as, a, as a constant anyway. And so the dosing doesn't really affect the way that you're going to dial in other than just making it a little bit easier because you don't have to, you know, weigh and zero out a scale every time. It just really works. Yeah. And so, I'm going to no. hit grind here. Yeah. Oh, uh, didn't let it zero out I enough. I didn't let it zero out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bam. There we go. And oh. usually if I'm getting that, go. especially when you first get the grinder, if you're getting that FH, it'll take a little bit to get it perfectly snug with your portafilter. Right. And, and also just being patient because I know a lot of people, like me included, when I first got it, I was like, I would take it out, put it back in. You got to do, you do have to wait those like three seconds or so. Yeah, so, so this is looking better. Oh, much, much, much so. I, I think that we might actually get a shot out of that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't want to yeah, put it out on the counter because that's, that's the dose that we chose. We just wait it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Maybe I can move that out of the way a little bit. We've got our Eureka prep tools here go. to go with the Eureka grinder. And then, and then we have our ECM Mechanica 6 Slim, mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite machines, heat exchangers we carry, honestly. Yeah, it's so a let's great go machine. For it. Let's see, hit that timer. A little fine. Uh, I, uh, oh, I don't know. This might be a good soon. shot. This might be a good shot still. Surprisingly so. And as you can see, we, we've, we've dialed in this, this espresso machine to pull right at about nine, eight, nine bar up there on the manometer. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's that, in the range already. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> that's unfair that we did that so well. Um, but no, that, that's, and, and you know, our crema wave, obviously. Let me get my little spoon. Oh, you're going for this one? Yeah, I'll do I it. drank too many last I time. I know, Thank you, you can so tell. Much. He's like... Oh, my gosh, just yeah. Just oh. <laughs> Now, do we have any more questions, Ellie? Not right now? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, definitely palatable. Um, actually, it's really smooth. I don't think I would change anything. <laughs> Which well, well, that's... <laughs> there you go. I mean... But if it were bright or sour... Right. Um... And that were something where basically if it's if it runs too fast, it's going to taste sour. Right. It's going to be undercooked uh, right. and you'll want to adjust finer. Right. If it were a slow shot and it tasted bitter and burnt, then you'd want to adjust coarser. Right. Um, and that's that's the whole process of dialing in. But it really helps visually inspecting your right. grind size too. You can tell uh, w when it's clumping, uh, you know, you're gonna notice if it looks like powdered sugar right. versus if it looks like maybe a fine dirt is what right. you're going for. Right, yeah, no, it's, it, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, <laughs> different grinders are gonna do different things. And it's, it's, it's a constant, you know, we could pull another shot right now and it probably wouldn't pull exactly the same. Mm -hmm. and, and when you have a new grinder, that's sort of the, the, the breaks when it comes to getting 
a new grinder, you, you may hear the term seasoning your burrs. Mm -hmm. And that's just sort of like the breaking in period of your grinder where, you know, mm -hmm. you put so much coffee through it and then it kind of like gets used to grinding because, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a fresh baby yeah. and it needs to learn what it needs to do. As I said, it only has one purpose, to put beans in the top and to come out of powder. Yeah. And it does it really well. And so... I really love how easy it is to use. We can go over to just uh, basically the stepless adjustment, kind of talk a little bit about that, right. and maybe an overview of the touch screen. Let's go ahead. Uh, and so why don't you take it away? Yeah, awesome. So it has a stepless micrometric adjustment. Uh -huh. um, all that means is you're going to adjust this and it's not so much a like uh, true zero where it's going to be identical on every single right. Libra. Right. It would be more so um, a reference point here. Right. So you're going to look to your grinds and what your shots are pulling and adjust this as needed. Now, the thing that's great about this is it is a lot like a kind of like a volume knob where you can just tweak it a little bit and get very precisely right. dialed in. It doesn't click between the settings, yeah. which is what a stepped grind adjustment exactly. would be. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. you can change it just the smallest bit. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you said it, but yeah, the numbers are just for reference. So yeah. like if you look at ours and you say, oh, well, oh, th theirs was set at 1.2. 1. 1. Yeah, it's not gonna be exactly. It's not gonna, yeah. It'll vary based on the threads. Right. Um, and then for the, the screen here, there's your double button mm -hmm. and your single button. And then if you press both, that'll yeah. be your manual setting. Right, and we did kind of cover that already. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. yeah, that's it. It's a really easy grinder to use. Right, you just gotta be patient with Super the, fast. you know, you're gonna see that FH, you will see it. I mean, we, we showed it to you several times, but. Once it's, it's set up and you're using it more frequently, then it's not gonna do that as right. often. And you'll get used to it. You, yeah. you know, like it's not just the grinders getting used to doing what it does, but you're getting used to using the And not only that, well. but like any scale, you do need to tear it. Right. You right. know, so if I were to put something else on there, <laughs> I've got to tear <laughs> yeah, the scale. It takes a second. The, the portafilter fork is doing the same thing. Right. And so, uh, any other questions, Ellie? Oh, great. Yeah, um, Lorraine wants to know if she will ever need to replace the burrs in this grinder. So maybe you can talk about the maintenance on it. So, Eureka grinders uh, have what is called high speed maintenance. And this one is, follows that same method. So what you can see is on the back here, I, I, I can already see a great, so this little icon right here of the Eureka logo, yeah, my gosh, they've been in business since 1920, folks. Like, they know what they're doing. Um, but if you have a little bit of a fingernail, oh gosh, you can take that can off, help, I guess and so there's, there's a Phillips head screw back here. If you loosen that, this whole top piece comes right off. Um, and if, if you shut, shut, the, shut the hopper, my gosh, shut the hopper, or else you're going to spittle all your beans. But that whole thing lifts off, and that's just the grinding chamber down there. Yeah, I think it's two, three more screws on the top mm, burr plate, and then you, you're into the, yeah. into the grinding chamber. You can, you can brush it out. Uh, and he's got an overview video that <laughs> you can visually see that. Yeah, that's 100% that's true. I, I, I did review this. Uh, this isn't the first time I've taken one of these out of a box and yeah. got it set up. So this yeah. is, a, this is a, one of my favorite grinders that I reviewed of the year, honestly. And yep, I see a, a great thing to, to mention here. Uh, with, with your burrs, uh, with this, you know, your hardened steel burrs, that's going to last you approximately, give or take, uh, literally a thousand pounds of coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're grinding 18 grams at a time. So, mm -hmm. like, you can imagine how long that's going to take an average user to go through. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and that's not even a hard and fast rule, the, the, the thousand pounds. Like, it, that's just what, when you might notice a decrease mm -hmm. in, in performance. Yeah. So, it does have replaceable burrs if you ever need mm -hmm. to replace it after, you know, years right. of use. Just the 55 um, millimeter Eureka hardened steel flat burrs. Yeah. Yeah. And then for your regular maintenance, you'll just run Urnex grinds through it. These are little coffee shaped pellets. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just scoop a little bit out of here. Yeah, you got you to show them. They're so yeah. cute. Yeah. Little yeah. coffee shaped pellets. You put that through uh, maybe a, a heaping cap full and there's instructions on the container as well. Right. And then you'll run that through. Um, you can either do that when you change beans or monthly, depending on your use. Mm -hmm. um, and depending on the beans you're using. If you're using like a darker using. roast, you might want to do it a little more often because right. the grinds really does a wonderful job of cleaning the, the oils off your burrs. Yes. Uh, so if you have like a dark oily bean, 
you know, you're going to be more yeah. likely to do it. So. And also nice to know, just in case, you know, you're new to espresso, when you have an espresso blend and you already have that dialed in, that'll pretty much stay similar if you're using the same beans. If you right. change beans, you will need to dial in again. Right. Um, and you can have to tweak just depending on weather or the freshness of the beans, right. things like that. Right. No, exactly. I think, uh, you know, we're, we're 20 minutes in. I, you know, I want, yeah, I, I saw you drink your espresso. I want one too. So let's, let's get <laughs> okay. another one. Let's just do another one real quick. You got and it. And while you do that, holy mackerel. And while you do that, I'm let's. I'm just making a mess over here. Let's check one more time with Ellie here. Do we have anything else? Yeah, I've got one. Um, Great. John Tompkins wants to know what would be the coarsest grind if you could, or so you could achieve for other brew methods. So that's a wonderful question, John. Thanks for joining us. I uh, always love to see you out there. Um, this one is really espresso focused. I, I'm going to tell you, you because it's a micrometrics adjustment that can. I can't tell you what it, exactly the the coarsest setting is going to be. I mean, mm -hmm. it'll. You'd be eyeballing it and right. then doing it based on your results brewing. Right. It's going to come out. I mean, you can adjust it a maximum of, I mean, I want to say the the beans would barely even touch the touch the birds and they would go through. I mean, you can see how tall this grinder is. Uh, there's a lot of it as motor, but you know the the grinding chamber is is has a good size to it. So, and so yeah, it can do it, but it's just form factor wise not really. Yeah. I mean, the whole the whole concept of is it is to use the cleats. Uh, for your port of filter as, as you were about to show again. Yeah, uh, which you can put a cup in, right. but yeah. well, you know. We actually did that test a little while ago and you can actually use uh, this uh, Akaya dosing cup. Mm -hmm. Will zero out on this. Uh, let's see if it, if, if it actually will. Which you'll have yeah. to kind there of set up for that. So yeah, you, you could. Um, it's not going to be kind of the most effective way to use this grinder. If you're looking for multi-purpose grinders, maybe I would check out the Chiado oh. Life. But yeah, oh, the hopper, yeah. But that's a, you know, it's a wonderful thing because even though that was shut, we're still getting 18 grams. Like it's not grinding by time. So yeah. it isn't gonna stop until it gets that 18 grams. Mm -hmm. And so we already know that this is good. Yeah. So honestly, you know, why not just use that for the shot we're about to do? Oh yeah. So it that's a great good. question though, John. Uh, I would say that it's really not meant for any other brew method other than espresso. Yeah. So. Okay. Anything else? Anything else, Ellie? Uh, yeah. Pete wants to know if it comes with other dosing funnel sizes. Other dosing funnel sizes. Uh, the, in the box, it comes with this one in particular. Uh, any any 58 millimeter portafilter uh, dosing funnel would potentially work. Um, usually, you want it to be a little higher because, you know, as you can guess, this will only go up like so high. And honestly, you could. You know, so you're saying on. like if if you had a 54 millimeter porta filter or something. In our in our wonderful drawer full of full of porta filters <laughs> that we have drawer. here, uh, you can actually do it without the do the dosing funnel altogether if you really wanted to. But I highly recommend it um, because if you don't have the dosing funnel, it it has a, a higher percentage chance of getting outside of your portafilter. The funnel really helps all the grounds go in there. So this one actually pulled fast. That That's fine. I, yeah. I do you prefer, prefer fast? I do prefer the, the but as I said, it, it, you know, I, 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 yeah. I hate to be right in this situation, but you know, back to back shots, like it's a constant battle, not battle, but you know, it's, 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 it's like yeah, golf, and ultimately right? It's, it's going to be also preference right. on that. Right. But it's like golf. You're never going to go out and shoot 18 holes and not have anything you didn't, you, you have, you know, that you didn't do wrong. Yeah. And I think moving it from the cup sort of changed things a little. No. But, I mean, I drink that. Yeah. That's fine. But so it, it, it's, it's not a set and forget sort of thing, as, as we like to say on this channel. So it, dialing in, you, you can get it in the range, but mm -hmm. then like little tweaks are going to be crucial on yep. a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to getting the perfect shot of espresso. So yeah. Yeah. A anything else, Ellie? No, nothing else right now? Well, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, you know, what else do we need to say? This is... Uh, 
a phenomenal grinder. Uh, yeah. Eureka, you know, they, they don't have a bad one in their in their lineup, honestly. No, they don't. Um, yeah. I really like it. I also, this is like a great setup for if you want to kind of get it dialed in and then like let's say you have other coffee drinkers in the house who might not be as versed with the barista skills, you can just set things up for them and then, you know. It's true. It's very um, easy to use. Once especially you, you pair this with like a, a machine that has a programmable button for your single and double yeah, shots. Forget about it. Yeah. yeah. You've got it. So uh, if there's no more questions, I, I want to just say, please, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more of these coming up as well as our produced uh, reviews of products as well. And uh, we also do a service through our website called CoffeeCast, which Missy knows a lot more about than I do. Yeah, um, so CoffeeCast, you can schedule a Zoom meeting with us and we'll be here in the studio to demo machines. Um, you can schedule that by going to the website in the top banner and then choosing an available time. Um, in the notes, you just add whatever you're looking to check out. We'd be happy to tell you more about those products. Right, and you can do a grinder, you can do a machine, you could do a machine and a grinder. You could say, what's the difference between these two machines? Mm -hmm. And we can do all these sorts of uh, like live product demos for you one-to-one -one for mm -hmm. free. Yeah, it's, it's totally a, free. It's an amazing service. And I, I think we covered a lot of the details of this grinder, but if you want more of the details, please go to our website and go to the product page for this grinder. Specifically in Ferrari Red because it, so, it looks so nice. Yeah. And can you believe they actually, put, they, I mean, they paid to have that color. They, they wanted it to say Ferrari Red because that's exactly what it is. And so it's, it's a lovely, lovely machine. But it'll give you all the details you want to know about this <laughs> grinder and any product. Honestly, if you just go to the product pages, it's all up there. And so, you know, also the description of this video, we've got the, pro you know, my, my video I made of this yeah. grinder, as well as a couple other great videos for dialing in espresso. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know. Awesome. Yeah, we've got uh, support on the website as well. Top right corner, if you click on support, there's going to be Coffee 101, mm -hmm. uh, parts diagrams and user manuals, all that good stuff on there. Um, so definitely check it out. We've got a lot of resources that we put a lot of time into making for you. So definitely check them out. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And thanks to Ellie and Mark back there. Did a wonderful job on this one. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, tune back in. Uh, we'll be back at three with uh, another great unboxing that I think you might see my good friend Mark. And so uh, have a great evening. Uh, and thanks for joining us.